You ever been on a dive site somewhere? Ordered nitrox? Been asked to analyse it and totally forgot what to do? Well watch this video and I'll show you how. In getting this right, you'll be armed with the confidence and knowledge to make sure you've got the right breathing gas and you don't die. Hi, I'm Andy the North Diver and welcome to another episode of this series of scuba diving tutorials. In this episode I'll be showing you how to analyse your breathing gas for nitrox use only. If this is your first time here then don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and at the side of it you see the little bell icon, if you click that you'll get a notification every time we post a new video. So what you're going to do if you're not going to account then, click this little link up here, it'll take you to a video that I've made, take you two minutes to set up an account, that way you can like, comment, subscribe to any video you watch on YouTube and then you can even set up your own channel. Make sure you stick around to the end where I'll be giving you my top tip. Just got to put it out there before we start this video. This is intended for people who are nitrox qualified only. It's not there to supplement having a nitrox qualification. So I don't need any haters. It's just a reminder for those who are qualified. So you've gone to your dive centre or whoever's supplying your gas. I need nitrox 32, please. So what they're going to do is go away. They'll fill your cylinder with what you would hope is nitrox 32. One of two things might happen. You'll either be giving your cylinder full of gas and this dive centre will say, can you analyse it and confirm to me that the gas you ordered is what I've given you. Or, a couple of months might pass by and you'll pull a cylinder out from your little stash of 15 cylinders or whatever you've got and be not sure because you've, your labels come off or whatever of what gas you've got in that cylinder. So you need to use your analyzer to find out what's in it. So get yourself a gas analyzer. This one is for nitrox and you'll see there's a little bung in the front. This stops the, the sort of reaction that goes on with the oxygen sensor and prolongs its life. So you take out the bung and we get the, the little orifice that goes in there. So as you can see, there's two tiny little holes that just allow the flow of gas to sort of circulate through and back out of uh, from the cylinder into the analyzer. So first of all, then we're going to turn it on to pressing the power button, the yellow power button, and you should see on the top of there, there's a nice little reading coming on. Now hopefully, yeah, that's set at 21, but let's just say it wasn't, let's say it was reading something else. So what you do is you turn the little calibration gauge, left or right, until you find you're pretty much smack bang on 21. So you, hopefully you can see that. So I've turned it, it's now 21. So that's reading the gas in this atmosphere that I'm breathing in my garage at 21%. So then what we're going to do is open up the cylinder. So we're going to take out my little bung that stops spiders and ants' nests and that growing in the top of my cylinder. What we're going to do is turn the cylinder on extremely gently. Okay, so we're going to offer up the nitrox analyzer. A sec, just a couple of seconds or two. Okay, so that's now stood still at 32.6. So let's assume that this landed bang on 32. What I want to do is label this cylinder just for future, in case I don't use it today, tomorrow, or the next day. So I'm going to put 32%, and then I can put 34 meters. That way, I know when I come to use this, that's what's in that cylinder. I put this sticky label this side here because if I was wearing this as a stage cylinder, it's going to be direct in my line of sight. Whereas if I put it underneath the valve handle, be on the other side and never see it. It's really important that you know that what you've got in your cylinder is then put on your computer and also signed for at the dive set that you take it from. If it's on your computer while you're breathing it, then you're going to obviously get the right decompression profile on the way back on the ascent. So what we're going to do then is either bung the cylinder back up or put your regulator on and go for a dive and then we're going to get a nitrox analyzer. I'm going to pull the orifice off the front, bung it back up. So what that'll do is it'll stop any dust, dirt or debris getting in there and it'll, it'll increase the life of the O2 sensor. I keep mine in this little hard box, keeps it away from everything, locks it off, keeps the moisture out of there and obviously protects it because it's foam lined. So my top tip for this episode would be get your nitrox tables, take a photograph of your conversion charts, so showing your max operating depth for whatever gas you're going to use, take a photograph of that using your mobile phone and store it in a particular folder called diving so you can have in there a photograph of your qualification cards and so on and so on, membership cards. But if you've got this in there, it saves you having to go through Dalton's triangle 
or Dalton's Diamond or Dalton's T, whatever you want to call it. Go through your Dalton's Law. You can just quickly convert it by looking on your phone and you don't have to carry these around. So don't forget, leave us a comment below how you work out your gas requirements. And if you've enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. If you subscribe to this channel, you'll see loads more scuba diving content out there that we've put out. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. See you on Insta.